Hi everyone, it's Patricia from Be More Dog. I'm going to do a little tutorial on muzzles and talk you through some of the different tools that I use. Muzzles are really essential for working with aggressive dogs and rehabilitating dogs. Um, they, they save lives. They stop dogs from being put down, they stop people from being bitten, other dogs from being bitten. So I'm a huge advocate of using muzzles. Uh, so here's a few that I've got to, to talk through with you. This is an Ankol muzzle. It's my favourite brand because it's really easy to put on. Um, it's got a clip here which is easy to undo and easy to put on. Quite often when we want to put muzzles on we just want to do it as quickly as possible. So if I show you with uh, Fido here, it just slips over the snout and then these straps easily go over the back of the head. I've got three different sizes here, so I've got a a size 8 which is a size for a Doberman or um, a German Shepherd. Um, I've got a size 4 here which could be for a miniature Schnauzer. Um, and the brown one would be good for a dog that's got lighter coloured skin, so a lighter colour fur. So this would be good for you know a Labrador maybe uh, because it blends in a bit more. Sometimes dogs can find um, the starkness of a muzzle, other dogs can find the starkness of a muzzle a bit threatening. So if you get one that matches the colour of your dog's fur then it can blend in a little bit more. The plus side of using one that doesn't match the dog's fur is that other people, other dog owners can see it from far away. Um, and I have seen bright multicoloured muzzles um, and other dog walkers see this and they put their muzzle on the dog straight away. So there are positives to using a muzzle that is a different colour to the dog's fur. Um, this one here again, it's another, it's an Anko one. It's for a small breed, might be a Jack, Jack Russell um, or, you know, just a smaller breed. Um, this one is a size three. Again, just easy to put on. You know, it takes a split second to put on and a split second to put off, take off. And it's got, um, if you can see the red padding there, which is just to stop it from scraping and scratching on the dog's nose. They tend to fit really securely. Um, very unusual that they can pull them off. Um, so I'm a, I'm a really big fan of these muzzles and I'm just gonna put one on uh, Fido now so you can see what it's like. Right, so it doesn't fit Fido perfectly, but you can see um, there's just the one clip that the strap goes over the top of the head um, and it's dead easy to put on. They've also got this removable plate at the front. Um, so if your dog's got a longer muzzle, you can actually take this plate out. It comes out um, and it just means that there's a little bit more space in there. Um, and also if you're putting food in there, it's easier to wash. So that, so that plate inside is removable. I want to talk about this other brand, which is a Mickey. I'm not a fan of these muzzles um, because they're very fiddly to put on. Firstly, anything that is a buckle takes longer to put on than anything that is a clip. So the clip, it, it's just a clip, it's dead simple. But this buckle is always really, really, really fiddly to get on. So that's my first problem with this muzzle. Um, secondly, this weird strap that goes over the top of the dog's head it, it, they don't like it they're always pouring it it goes right in between the dog's eyes so if i show you on fido this this should sort of go over the top of his head here like this they tend not to like it and they tend to fidget at it for ages so i'm not a fan of these um and yeah as i say the the clip here is not it's not easy to put on and also I've seen dogs remove these muzzles because they're not quite so secure so um, I do have them because the bull breeds with the broader muzzles um, tend to only fit into these types of muzzles the bull breeds don't tend to fit into the ankle muzzles because they're thinner they're slimmer um, so some of the really large mastiff type breeds um, th they would have to have one of these on but they're not easy to put on and when you want to get a muzzle on and off it tends to be you know you want to just get on with it um, so I use these but just only for the bull breeds the last type of muzzle I've got is a, is a mesh one uh, a material muzzle now these are effective in that they they work so um, the dog can't bite however they're very restrictive um, and they are not they're not very humane in my opinion so with these muzzles 
the dogs can um, they can pant they can breathe they can drink water they can take treats they can yawn um, you know you can sort of see their whiskers so they can express themselves to a point um, you know if, if they need to cough they can these muzzles are really restrictive and the dog's mouth is pretty much clamped shut they might be able to stick a tongue out but they, they probably couldn't um, you know if they needed to be sick they couldn't be able to so I would worry about leaving a muzzle like this on a dog for a long time um, however they do stay on um, and they are effective so if you were going to use one of these it would definitely need to be supervised um, and just be mindful of the dog if it did need to get sick it wouldn't be able to open its mouth properly um, so don't use this one very often um, but just wanted to show you